Hello, hello, I'm Sergeant Pancake, and I'm going to show you how to instantly improve your infantry divisions in Hoi 4 by using Armored Car Reconnaissance Companies. Okay, so I'm going to show you a really easy way to instantly improve your army again. So this, this method to instantly make your army way better revolves around... Uh, support companies and spe specifically the reconnaissance company most people just use the cavalry reconnaissance detachment uh, this is the weakest of the recon but it's also the cheapest um, I've seen some people use the motorized recon co companies but I've never seen like anyone use the armored recon companies because they they aren't very good and they're definitely not worth their, like, the light tanks they have to produce. But I'm going to show you why you need to use the light armored recon companies. So, <clears throat> if we go into just this basic infantry division and add a the cavalry recon detachment, you can see right here, reconnaissance plus one. Um, what reconnaissance does is... Basically, it improves the tactics that, that your general will pick. And also, it gives you um, a small bonus. So if you have more reconnaissance than them, uh, you get... I don't think it's a big bonus, but it's like it's like a maybe 10% bonus. Um, but, of course, we can improve this. Uh, for instance, if we have a motorized recon detachment, our reconnaissance is now 1.5. If we have an armored one, it's still 1. So I, like, I don't know. I guess you get a bit of hardness. Uh, no, you don't even get hardness. I don't know why anyone would choose that. But why I'm saying you need to choose this is because you get plus two reconnaissance. That is doubling the amount of reconnaissance that you'd get from the cavalry recon detachment. And now you might be thinking, okay, well, yeah, I guess that would be good. Um, but why? What's the what's the usefulness uh, to having this? Because you have to build a bunch of armored cars. Um, and I haven't even gotten to the, like, having a recon company, uh, you get a ton of movement bonuses, which is really good. It's, um, like, plus 10% movement speed, or mostly across the board. That's that's very good. Now, you might be thinking, uh, oh, why, like, you probably have to dedicate a lot of factories to this. Well, you really don't. Um, if you have three factories on this three factories so uh, a bit of context as germany i go for uh, five full armies um which is 120 divisions and then 120 divisions plus 24 armored cars per company as you can see here plus 24 armored cars um if you just have three factories from the very start of the game on it, producing armored cars you don't you just totally forget about it and your entire your entire army will have uh, armored cars, and um, perhaps later if you want to get better uh, garrison divisions because armored cars are the most ideal garrison divisions, you can bump this up when you have like when you've invaded, like when you're invading Russia, bump this up to like maybe fifteen factories, and then boom you have infinite armored cars for your garrisons and your recon companies but three factories on armored cars from from 36 until like you'll get more than enough before you invade Poland um, and what I what kind of I've noticed is that uh, because the armored card ones are like pretty bad you'll lose a lot and you might even go to into a deficit but if you bump it up to five factories around when you get to France You'll have some extra factories to spare. And you research the the armored car twos. There's like significant uh like it is significantly better. So Yeah, that's just a really easy way to improve your army by a whole lot. Um in conjunction with my last video, or one of my last videos, about the light flame tank companies. This makes your 
infantry nearly unstoppable. Like a good seven. I I still use seven twos because I'm a bit behind the curve, but seven twos with uh full uh like companies that like basically better than any infantry. <laughs> yeah, it's just a really easy way to significantly improve your army. Uh, but anyway, I'm Sergeant Pancake. Thank you for watching and uh, goodbye.